Sup, sup. How you doing, man? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing okay. Ooh, I think we do a design like this. So the sour gas opens up, and then as it moves... Oh, wait. I want it to go out this way if possible. I think that's going to be the idea. Doing all right. Good to hear. Good to hear. Good to hear that you're doing all right, man. How about yourself? It's good weather. Can't complain. And we're nearing the end of this run, so we're doing all right. I'm just a little bit um, curious to hear if you guys have any... Uh, run ideas or things you guys would like to see in terms of like a challenge run or something like that trying to see if you guys have any ideas for uh the next only playthrough we're gonna do evening legit in chat hope everyone's having a great evening hope you are too big eric thank you for stopping by thank you for popping in hope you're having a great one as well well what's good man how's the week hopefully you're having a uh, awesome one so far and also hoping for the awesome weekend I see you over there. Mini base mod. Okay. That's an idea. We'll probably have to uh, tackle that at some point. That's true. I want to see you run a colony only plug slugs. Oh, God. Yeah, but you also get no power if they're wild. They give you a lot more power if they're tame. When they're wild, they give you minimum 40. I think I, I I did a I did a I did a video breakdown of plug slugs and dude it's it's you, you need to tame them. Even when they're starving, they're better off than uh, having them wild. But yeah, they're ah man, I don't like plug slugs at all. I still wanna see it only farters run. Flat flint dupes, oof. A max colony size thing? I don't want to go and try to... I don't want to, like, actively try to dethrone GC Fungus's uh, max dupe record. <laughs> I don't want to try to actively dethrone that. I could try. I just, it's like, I know someone is, is, is doing that at the moment, so it's like, I don't want to do it while they're doing the run. Imagine getting a world record only to be dethroned a couple moments later. That's such a bad feeling. What's the max dupe record? Uh, I think right now they're at like 160, 170. And that's the current new record. But in all seriousness, it's like... I don't know if we have any ground rules for that. Because although that's good and that's great to have, you know, challenge runs like that. If there's no, like, ground rules or something like that... It's, it's hard to compare. Are exploits allowed? Can you use the flower pot strat so that you have infinite food? And then you don't have to worry about that anymore? And then knowing the patches, once things get patched out, sometimes records are never going to be breakable because of how that works. Oh yeah, back then we were able to do this with that patch, so since we're not able to do that anymore, you know. Huge drip. Um, there's an exploit where you could try to plant uh agriculture plants so plants that grow food on a flower pot and since it's a flower pot they don't require you to fertilize it and if you could use the exploit to get it planted over there and that that is a strat you basically get free food because you never have to fertilize it so you get the domesticated growth speed while having the wild uh requirements that's basically how it works. So by doing that, you basically grow most foods in here. Except anything that grows upside down, of course. You still have to fulfill the temperature requirement. You still have to fulfill the light requirement. But the irrigation and fertilization don't have to be fulfilled anymore. It's a weird exploit, though, to get that to work.
The Wii's warts. Uh, yes. The thing with that, though, is I don't know if, if it's wild or domesticated. Because the Wii's warts, if you didn't know, um, this value right here, the 1,000 grams per second, changes of if it's wild or domesticated. It should be domesticated and give you the proper value, but I'm not sure. All right, so I need to make this a little bit wider. And I think this is the design. So we would want to overchill the methane. Oh, I could do it like this. And just do it like that instead. Huh, that's an idea. Oh, uh, so when a plant is domesticated, that means you planted it on a normal box. When they're wild, that means you encounter them in the wild. So if I click on a wild wheeze word, you can see that the vacuum consumption is a different value. That's what I mean. So when you have a normal domesticated wheeze word, it gives you the full value of a thousand. A wild wheeze word at any given time gives you up to 250 depending on the environment around it. Cons oh, you're asking what does consuming vacuum mean? Uh, basically, this building, if you didn't know, reads in the gases around it. That's what it does. So it, it will breathe in the gas that's surrounding it. And once that gets inside to the plants, you can't see it. But when it breathes in, it lowers the temperature of a thousand grams right it will lower the temperature by five degrees celsius of the 100 1000 grams of the gas and then it spits it back out so it takes a chunk of it cools it and then releases it and then that will overall lower the temperature slightly now it's doing that every single second of the game so it's a small little chill box basically it consumes it out lowers the temperature, spits it back out, and it just keeps cycling over and over and over again. Eventually, the wheeze words are going to be effective enough to start cooling down pockets, but for the most part, that's how that works. So when it says consuming vacuum, that's what that means. I think if you look at gas overlay on top of, uh, I don't know, the gas levels are too high. Sometimes if the gas levels are low enough, you'll see a vacuum tile on the plant because it's consuming the gas. No, you don't. It's it's uh, net zero. Okay, so let's talk about the sour gas boiler, potentially. We heat up sour gas, so we're going to have a heat source right here. We're going to drop in the naphtha, right? Simple setup. Naphtha comes in from here. Uh, that boils because it touches the heat. Then we have a vacuum box. Oh, should I have one on this side? It shouldn't be necessary. It shouldn't be necessary. I only want it for here. So the idea is, is that as we release the sour gas, the temp shift plates and the steam turbine right here are going to cool it down from 550 down to like 200, hopefully. Uh, this is just going to pass by. But because of how uh, much mass we'll have in here, like a lot of steam, it should cut down by a few hundred degrees. This is going to flow through our jank counterflow. I want a two tile gap because it's just free flowing gas. And what we're going to do is we are going to have, I should lower this. Maybe we do it the opposite and have this above. Maybe that's the play. So what I want to do is we run that through a counter flow. And then eventually, this is going to have super coolant inside. And then we're going to run radiant piping. Now, it's not going to look exactly like that, but we're going to do something like that. And then that's going to freeze the sour gas into methane. That should fall down here. 
so I want to make it so that Sourgas creeps through the top, and then once it gets to here, and we get to the bottom, it starts doing its thing. So after that happens, I need to pump up the methane with a liquid pump. I don't have to, but I want to. This makes the design a little bit easier to manage. And we want to move it to a different room that has some sort of heat source. Which should be the heat source at the bottom, now that I think about it. That's an interesting idea. I could move this to here instead. And have the doors horizontal instead of vertical. It would still work. I would need to have a low pocket, but it would still function fine. And then I could maybe set up the heat sink a little bit closer to us. So the counter flow doesn't matter. I just need a little bit of space for the sour grass to crawl, uh, crawl through. Because after we get the methane, we pump it out to another room. We use the heat source to heat up the methane. Uh, methane, if you guys didn't know. Meth, not even once. Um, becomes natural gas. So once we become methane, we want to heat it again. And then we get natural gas. When that happens, we will pump out the natural gas. And then I want to run that through the piping right here. So that the sour gas gets cooled down by the natural gas in a counterflow format. So that's the logic that we're trying to find. Now, I don't want to use the steam room as a heat source. I don't want to do that. I want to use the magma instead. So the counterflow design here is kind of jank. I could try to do another design at the bottom, right, with a heat source here. And then this becomes a thing. Put another door here, probably. Now, the problem with this is that my aqua tuner line is going to have to go further. Is there a way for me to get the best of both worlds? <laughs> is there a way for me to get the best of both worlds? Can I have the heat sink and the aqua tuner close by enough? Alright, so if that was the idea, I would probably have something like this. And then we would have to have some like this. AK Kun, what's that time of the month again for 39 months? Thank you so much, K Kun. I see you over there. Welcome back to the city. Thank you for the extended stay. Seems like you like it around here. So thank you so much, K Kun. Hope you still enjoy. And of course, thank you so much. Enjoy the emotes, the 20 dice ad free viewing. Don't forget that legit sub ad. Appreciate the support. Let me fix the cam on Mamba. I just noticed that he moved again. Making sure the uh, Void Blob is uh, getting his camera time. Okay, good. How are you, though? I see you over there. Thank you so much. Rolls an 18? That's a high roll, man. That's a high roll. How are you? Hey, Golith. What's good? I see you over there. Cities is going to be tomorrow. Uh, right now, there is no active schedule. I alternate between games. So I go Cities, Oni, Cities, Oni. And then one day of the week, if I do have some indie games to check out, I will have an indie game day. Uh, for the most part, you could check out the Discord. We have an active schedule in there that shows uh, the games we're going to be playing for the week on which day. So you can check that out. That way it's live. Uh, for the most part, though, I, I was trying to do like a Tuesday, Thursday, Monday, Friday thing. But then I, I like to alternate instead. That's a little bit better. But yeah, we'll be playing something tomorrow. Chaos, what's going on? Chaos Wolf the Girl, how are you? Welcome on in. Hope you're having a good day today. Hope you're having a good Thursdays. Ah. Do you also do an indie game this week? I might do it on Saturday this week. I have some indie games I want to play. But I think we're going to do it on Saturday. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. I, I will know by tomorrow, though. But we have two to three titles we want to check out. I don't know if I'll be able to get through all of them. But uh, I do want to check them out. Some of them are going to be first-time playthroughs. 
All right, so if we do the boiler here, right? And then we boil from here, and we hold the sour gas in this pocket. All the automation is here instead. And then we open and close the doors to allow the sour gas to move out. That's fair. It gets cooled down by the turbine as it goes past. And then the one thing I don't have still is a heat sink. I want to run this underneath the turbine so we get initial cooling done. And then I want to run the natural gas over it as a counterflow. We need to use this heat source and I want it to be close to the aqua tuner. Uh, hmm. I don't mind this design because we start left to right, so we technically maximize the cooling. You know what? I was thinking maybe we could use the sour gas, like use use the window tiles here, and then put a door on top, and then automate the door, like this. So that it's a vacuum when it's open, and then when it's closed, there's heat transfer. And then use that to warm up the methane to become natural gas. But I think that might chill this so that the boiler doesn't work as effective. So we should use a separate spike. So, of course, we're going to have the door for this at some point. Um, putting it down here is a little bit far from this. So ideally, I would want it right here so that we could just aqua tuner cool this and come back or even on this side. But then the heat sinks far away. If I want to do this and then I want to do that. Oh, I have to go around. Yo, that's jank. I would have to seal that up. I see. That's kind of jank, though. I mean, it does work. All right, so we're going to go right to left. And then we would have door, door, door. And then it would be, of course, this is gone. Probably like that. And then this comes from... I could probably widen this. But this probably goes like this. Drop it here, and then we have the heat sink at the bottom. Oh, I wanted this a little bit. Okay, so I have to do this, the vertical design. So I probably have it like this. And then we get the heat sink below. And then let's put four door and then proper heat sink. And then I could put a door here that goes into my other one. I probably do a centered design. And then this is sealed. Ah. And then we could share the heat sink, technically. And then we don't need this to be that hot. Once we get to a certain temperature, we'd be good. And then how this would work is we check the temperature of the heat sink with a donut design with a liquid in the middle. And then we have a sensor that connects to the door. After that, this should be like this. So it's a vacuum. I guess we don't need this. And we could just do that for the design sake. Keep this too thick. Have this widened a little bit. Don't really need that to be like that, though. Does that mean... Can I make this one thin? That's probably not a thing. Move everything here over. So that everything else lines up. I guess that's potentially okay. And then everything here gets moved over.
and then this is going to be a different heat source. So we drop the methane. And then we pump up the natural gas. Oh, I just had a better idea. I curl it like a full U-turn. Oh, that would have been a lot better. Yeah. So we could put the doors underneath like this. And then I could do it like this. Oh, and then the heat sinks line up a lot better this way. It's a lot shorter. Do it like that. Do it like that. And then we do it like that. Yeah. Do the donut design here. And then I probably just do this. I'm out of resources, so I can't build with that anymore. That's shame. All right, so this is the idea. And then all we have to do is wrap the sour gas back up to the top. So it's probably going to go this way. Goes around. And then once we get to here, we want this to fill up sour gas. And then once we get to a certain point, I want it to... Well, it's probably going to look different than that. But we do that with a temp shift plate in the middle. This allows any sour gas to come in to immediately get in contact and then potentially melt. And then we have this. This gets pumped up, goes immediately to the side, falls on the ground, heats up, and then we pump up the gas. Oh my god. <laughs> the thing with this design is that we're going to need a lot of sour gas to get this started. Hooray for Thursday. Friday's tomorrow, man. So close, so close. Easy peasy, I know, right? So, can I make this a little bit of a better design? More efficient? I don't know. Is there a better design path? Because I want this to share a wall. I want this to share a wall. No ladders, only transport tubes. Ooh, good luck. I ain't gonna do that, man. Transit tubes are expensive. To power a transit tube, you gotta spend... How much is that? That'd be a pain. Yeah, I don't want to do that. That sounds like your ultimate masochist. That's what it sounds like. It sounds like I wronged you and you're trying to get back at me. <laughs> That's what it sounds like, man. I don't know if I want to do anything like that. So heat sink sensor. Yeah, man, it's energy killer. 10,000 watts per dupe more or less it's like 9800 but it's expensive oh god it's like 9800 watts how you doing grandpa's we're doing all right i'm trying to figure out a sour gas boiler at the moment so the idea with this is that we run this through to here and then we run a radiant pipeline No temp shift plates. And then we leave. That's the idea. So this is not necessary. It's just to get it to the sour gas pump.
Is there any way I make this easier? So this would have to wait for... Yeah, this would have to wait for the sour gas to naturally move on its own. That's the only thing about this that's a little bit problematic. I have to wait for the sour gas to move on its own. So what we could do is add doors to push up certain pathways. If we wanted to. And that could literally be this door shaft. We could have this be closed. This fills up, cools it down, and then it all opens. And then it closes one, two, three, four, five, and pushes the sour gas vertically. And then it pushes the sour gas up. And then that closes, everything else opens. No, this is probably not necessary. Then can I shrink this? Yeah, to make natural gas. I want to make sour gas into natural gas. That's one of the things I wanted to do on this playthrough. Alright, let's check out the other stuff again really quick. Rover's chilling here. Is he dead? Is he alive? Oh, he's right there. He's hanging out, man. Good stuff. How is the graphite? Six tons. Is it still working? He should be dead by now. Nope, still alive. This guy's immortal, dude. Add a battery light, but he's still chilling. Good, good, good. Rocket is in orbit. You couldn't land? Why? Oh, oh the rocket took his spot again. No, this is actually fine. Adaptable Adios, Skylab. Yep, they chose the wrong one again. This one is Adaptable Adios. Yep, I didn't have the right rocket. <laughs> He's been chilling there. Inside the rocket for how long? Oh my god. At least he was okay to eat and live inside. Hey Square, what's good? I see you over there. Hope you're doing well. Happy Thursdays. How are you? Farting dudes give you natural gas, just saying. I see you, I see you. Okay. I could make this part shorter. It doesn't have to be as long. I guess we can pipe in the... We can pipe that in a little bit better. Yeah, I don't do this that often. I'm thinking about doing a. I, I need a. I want to make this setup a little bit better. I just can't see how I could do that. This makes sense. We could have this start this way, go like this. Right? So it goes out from here. Goes up this way and goes up and then over. And then there's this. That's basically, I would get this design. And then the turbines on this area. Goes through, up, and over. We cool here. And then the problem is going to be how do we get the pipelines without having that heat up? No, I could, I could. I just need to figure out what's a good location. So the logic is, since my aqua tuner is here, I want my radiant pipe to be close, so I don't need that much super coolant. And then I want to be able to pump up the liquid and drop it off immediately as well. So I want these walls to share. If that's the case, the only way for me to get sour gas from here to here... You know what? Actually, this is probably a thing, now that I think about it. I could probably seal this up to a certain degree and use a pump. Do 
that's going to waste power. I guess it doesn't matter, though. Because I could just pump the sour gas from here to here, and it's probably going to be faster. I'm actually not sure. Would it be faster to let the, the sour gas flow in and flow upwards? Or actually pump it through? If I pump it, I would probably want to do another cooling design. Instead of the normal counterflow. Because the thing with that is... Sour gas is going to move slow. Unless I use the doors. And I don't want to use the doors. And then if I do do this... It's a wide opening. And then my steam turbine's in the middle. Man. This would probably be the best design. Steam turbine right here, aqua tuner. Have that come in. Shared heatsink at the bottom. The only way is that I can't get my radiant piping through here safely. Could you use Escher Waterfall to move the gas? Uh, no. The Escher Waterfall is... Uh... So, so for you to do that, you need to get a liquid that's going to stay liquid and not become a gas at... 100 to 600 degrees. That's technically what you need. Right? A lot of liquids boil at 100. So we don't really have a lot of options. A lot of liquid metals solidify under a certain temperature. So that's not going to be possible either. It there's That's what I'm saying. That liquid is super coolant. No, actually, super coolant doesn't do that. There's no liquid that does that. There's literally no liquid that does that. Super coolant becomes gas at two something. Four something. Sour gas happens at 550. So that's not going to work. Uh, the only thing that comes into mind is something like lead. But lead solidifies at 300. Yeah, there's nothing that fulfills that type of setup. And also your... Escher Waterfall, your logic with that is backwards. That doesn't work the way you think it does. Overheated? Oh, it's because this is made out of lead. Alright, man. Can we get some ice in here? This is kind of important. Alright, let him do that. We're still charging. Almost done. All right, so we need to go back to get the water. Oh, did we get the water in here? Good, good. Looking fine. We'll fix that soon. Yeah, we'll need a couple more shots. Snaz, your blue suit. Nice, nice. All right, so... Can I get to this? If I can, that would be the design. Come in, go in, go up, and then boom, natural gas comes out here and then leaves. So how would I want to do that? How would I want to do that? If we had the aqua tuner right here, right? That's literally the only problem, is the aqua tuner. We could widen that so it's three wide, it's fine. So it's probably going to be like this, right? And then goes back. Oh, that's not going to work. It's such an extreme temperature difference. I think that the pipes are going to heat up. And it's going to matter. Alright, we'll just probably just keep this design. We'll live and we'll learn, I guess. All right, so I think this is going to be the design of choice. Something like this. And then, yeah, we'll just keep the blueprint like that. This is more or less, I think, what should work with this design. All 
I think it all works out. I might have overkilled this a little bit as well. So having these tiles extend up makes a lot of sense. Why two space? One wouldn't be better uh, for the gas movement. So initially it's because of the temp shift plates right here. Because of how this works, if I get the temp shift plates here, uh, it's technically not going to be beneficial. So I want to have that space gap so for better efficiency. And then I wanted this to be two tiles wide. Well, this could be... Ah, sorry. A little bit of heartburn. This could be one tile wide. So that I could fit the ladder up. But for the most part, this is so that my dupes could run through. The top and bottom, two tile heights. This doesn't have to be. This is because of the temp shift. This is because of the building. Everything else is because of uh, duplicate movement that I want to have. This is probably fine. And then this having the extra tile space doesn't really matter. The only thing I may potentially change is having this to here. And then moving the glass here. doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. Just allow sour gas to accumulate here before pushing out. And then we get a proper box shape. If we don't do that, I think this is more effective. This is probably more effective. All right, let's go with this. TX, what's good? I see you over there. How are you? Welcome on in. And of course, happy Thursdays. Hope you're having a good one, TX. How are you, though? What's good, man? Oh, now this is uh, bopping oxygen. Disconnect that. Let's go to this. Turn this off. We don't need to charge this anymore. Check back up on this planet. Mr. Rover is doing its thing. Nice, nice. Today is good, thanks. You doing okay? We're doing alright. Taking it a day at a time. You know how it is. This bed got flooded. Now he's got to mop it up. Temperature is lowered, though, as a result, hopefully. It was just because of the hot obsidian that was at 165. This is hot. Alright, man. Looks like I'm temp, shif temp shifting this. My goodness. We got to do what we got to do. All right, so with that, that's cool. We need to start the design. So we need to get a heat sink. We could potentially try to do it here, but I think I need to have the heat sink down here. So we just need to pump up the sour gas. Day at a time, man. Don't overwhelm yourself. That's got to be the strat. Only way to do it. Uh, hmm. There is a lot of sour gas for us to move. How am I going to want to do this? <laughs> I can't tap into the heat sink without being in a vacuum. We could make a small vacuum pocket at the bottom for now, just to get the build started. That could be what we do. Also going to have to sweep out everything. I guess we just start prep right now then, I guess. All right, it is what it is. We got to start to prep. And then here. Here. Here, I guess.
All right, this is to move everything here via auto sweeper. <laughs> Such a weird strat. And then we need to move the liquids. So I want to take this vertically, have that vacuumed out. Uh, this is going to be pretty hot, but I think regular tiles are going to be fine. Probably don't need obsidian for this. We will use the granite. Just to build the initial wall. And then we're going to have to move the mercury and the crude oil out of here. Okay, that should be not too bad. That's just a pump. And we're not going to filter this. Get the liquid vent right here. Auto save line. Let's wait, let's wait. There we go. Alright, so follow the ladder so that's an easy time. Let's pull that from here. Uh, let's go straight across. Follow the ladder again. Uh, go down the abyssalite path. That's probably better. Okay, and then I need to have my dispenser bins. These also don't overheat. So I think we can make this out of something simple like, oh, we can make it out of electrum because it's right here. One, two, three, four. This should be within range. Nice. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <gasps> oh, I could build it there. Always lucky. One, two, three, four. That's within range. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we should sweep all the items out from here to here. So nothing falls inside. After that, we're going to need power, of course. Classic stuff. Uh, probably just pull it from this line. What makes the most sense. And this is not going to need any help. It shouldn't need any help. And for the most part... One, two, three, four. Oh, I can't reach. <laughs> so I do have to go down like that. And then this attaches to here. All right, nothing's going to overheat. Everything's going to be good. And then all we got to do is do some mops. Uh, mercury is new, and it's not going to be dumpable. Crude oil, um, just going to dump out. But for the most part, we will have a bottle emptier here, made out of ceramic for the mercury drip. Cool, cool. You should have merch that says autosave lag. Dude, that, that, dude. I should do that. And then have, like, a picture of my colony with a deconstruct or mine... Uh, icon over the entire thing. Kind of like this. <laughs> kind of like that. That's cool, right? Nothing bad happened. <laughs> that was cool, right? I didn't mess anything up. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Alright, let the dupes work. Let them do its thing. Checking back up on this planet. He's still working hard, man. I can't I can't say that he's not doing a good job. He's doing a great job. Let's go back to here. The rover is a oh, he's burying the buddy. Dude, that was his homie, dude. It's gotta bury his body really quick. Two dead rovers. Are you gonna join them, dude? Nope. He's gonna he's gonna live forever, man. He's gonna stay forever young. This guy got the strats. All right, we have five tons of obsidian here still, so we should be all right. 2,700, potentially get some tile breakage. Hopefully, it's not going to be a problem, though, once we do the uh, job like that. I've never seen a rover. It's a Wally, baby. It's literally Wally. He's just hanging out, man, saying what's up. Wave at him, guys. He's got that satellite arm, dude. No hands, got the scorpion tail. Four legs. Only way to do it.
Does this work? Let's see. We use a staggered priority for the rover to build in a certain order so that we don't have to micromanage them as much. Yo, Geladera, what's good? I see you over there. Hope you're doing well. And then we're going to tunnel through between the walls. That's why we built out these tiles here. We're going to start tunneling, boys. Only way to do it. How are you? you? Blah, blah, blah. How are you? <laughs> Hope you're having a good day today. Hope you're having a uh, great Thursday, man. Let's beat this up. Oh, wow. Tungsten. I didn't know it was that color. It looks pretty, man. Tungsten right here. It's a nice, pretty color. Why do I have tungsten here? Oh, I have tungsten everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was just in the biome. All right. Got to build out the rocks. Got to build out everything. And then we're going to have to pump up the gas out as well. Just from here to here. It's probably actually better just build some doors right now, huh? Can I build some Electrum doors? Ooh, I could. That's the ultimate meme strat. Should I do that right now? Just build out a bunch of Electrum doors. <laughs> oh my god, I am mad with power. <laughs> they can't stop me now. Got every door in the book. Alright, this is probably going to take forever. I want to see if the dupes actually do it. And I think the idea is going to be is... uh, We'll pump out the rest of the gas. But this should move or displace most of the gas vertically upwards. Because we're going to be occupying the tile space. The only thing is going to be these pockets with the sweepers and the dispensers. We might have to manually pump that out ourselves. Put a couple pumps in here just to move it out. And then we're going to be sweeping all the items to the right once we get the power ready. That should probably be priority. Uh, yeah, let's put a 7 on the important stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. I heard, a, I, I heard a, someone is trapped. I hear someone, man. Someone is, someone is stuck. Auto save lag. Don't want to hit everything at priority 9. Alright. Oh, oh. Alright, so we got this. Here, 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 here. Should be good. The water up there is fine. The water dripping is fine. Got some mops we gotta do still. We gotta clean it up. Actually, we don't need to mop that up. Yeah, most of it's good. Oh, this is ready. Alright, so trim this. Trim the bottom. Good stuff, good stuff. Is there anything else that's on the ground? Oh, right here. Gotta clean up the map, boys. You know what it is. Clean maps all day. Yeah, it's looking pretty clean. Can't complain. Yeah, this is gonna start vacuuming out now. Normal setups. The rockets are back. Chargers are turned off. So we're all ready. Uh, we could grab the uh, graphite right now. I mean, he's, he's going to be working for a while. We got some more graphite we could grab still. Maybe make a second trip later. Five tons should be enough. All right. We're going to put the molecular forge in here. So that we could just have it in a large. Oh, it's too big. All right, let's put it in the corner. Let's put it in the corner. <laughs> let's put it right here. All right, so let's remove these. And then we'll put the forge right here. It'll be nice. Actually, before we do that, could we deconstruct the ladders? Thank you. <laughs> we'll, we'll remove these ladders first. And then we'll put the molecular forge here. Should be good. Everything's all right.
We got two open floors right there. This should go up. Same thing with the fire pole. Remove this tile, that tile. Probably this one as well. Okay, so... Everything here is a Sweetle, right? There's no Grub Grubs. They all gotta die. Alright, I think we have enough Grub Grubs. Three out of three. Oh, they need one, two, three. I need three Grub Grubs. Okay, that's fine. There's two in there already. Alright, we just need to move two more Grub Grubs out. That's one. That's two. Six out of eight. Probably wrangle a couple of Sweetles as well. Alright, speed this up. Should be good. Just gotta wait for the dupes to get to work. A little bit of sweeping should be done right here. Clean up the base. So, the next run, if you guys are curious, I'm thinking about doing is the 100k challenge. We talked about that a little bit. But uh, the mini base was also a pretty good idea. I just don't think we're going to do it yet. I'm going to do the 100k challenge first. Do we need a door hotline? Oh my god. I, I immediately got reminded of the Drake song for whatever reason. That, that song was such a meme. That song became such a meme. What's the best element for a deep freeze liquid lock? Uh, depending on the temperature you're going for, a lot of the time that's going to be the same liquid you're running in the uh, aqua tuner. So if you're using petroleum, if you're not freezing your petroleum in here, you could probably use petroleum for your liquid lock. A lot of the times if you're using a deep freeze freezer setup, uh, the best one to use is super coolant, right? Hands down, best liquid. After that is probably ethanol, then petroleum, then crude oil. But normally, you would use them as pairs. It makes sense, right? Because if you're not going to be able to freeze it in the aqua tuner, you're never going to be able to freeze it by having it be too cold. <laughs> if that makes sense. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, let me think about that. Liquid lock for what? Opalani. Let me ask that again. Liquid lock for what? Because <laughs> depending on what that's a liquid lock for, that might be not true. Ah, for the one tile food storage. Crude oil is always the best. Crude oil is always the best. After that, you probably want petroleum or naphtha. I thought you were talking about something else. <laughs> but yes, if it's these liquid locks, you want to use crude oil. If you can. And then after that, naphtha or petroleum. Right, but the thing is, is that the crude oil in the vacuum storage never has heat transfer. So the oil never actually gets cold. And that's the advantage of using a vacuum storage. Right? Since you're in a vacuum storage, your crude oil has no heat change. So the temperature doesn't matter. This is instead going to be based off of density. So since it's based off of density and crude oil is by far the densest liquid in the game it's uh gonna be the best option for this yes and that's why i like this design that's why i like this design look at how active my aqua tutor is zero zero seventeen percent so it's barely turning on Add a little bit of spice to the food. Yo, man, if you can't bite through ice cubes, you can't join the colony. You got to be able to chomp through ice cubes, dude. I hate to say it. <laughs> but if you can't chomp through ice cubes, I don't know, man. You can't join the colony. The food's frozen. Minus 50. The food's frozen, man. Nothing we can do about that. Why is my berry sludge at 14 degrees? We didn't even need to freeze it. I'm an ice chomper IRL, dude, man. When I heard that ice could chip your teeth, I did not believe that. I was like, that's got to be a lie, man. I know so many people that eat ice, they just bite into it. Like, no, man, they could chip their teeth. The dentist, uh, the dentist told me that, and I was like, really? And then after that, I stopped biting ice. 
as uh, I learned the lesson. I didn't chip any teeth, but I heard it from the doctor, right? Gotta listen to the doc. Whatever they say, man. I see a dark matter. I see you over there. Geek is right. Geek is right. The could is the key. Ah, I see, I see. The power is connected. Alright, so we're gonna do this. Oh, look at the sweeper supplying the Electrum. That's top tier. Let's go. <laughs> That's such a meme. Alright, so this is gonna be a priority one. I need priority zero for this, for this to work. In that sense, a lot of hard food could chip your teeth. I don't know how that logic works. I don't know if it's based off of anything. I don't know if it's like the composition of the ice, structural integrity. I don't know, man. Who really knows? You got to add the dentist again. Liquids don't type. No, oh, man, this guy does not watch anime. <laughs> ah. All right, so I think this works. No one should be sweeping to the dispenser bin outside of the sweeper. That should be how that works. So we're moving all the items to the right. Damn, we're using a lot of power for this. Yo, we're losing a lot of power for this. <laughs> oh, man. Also, when it snows, you know how rare in South Cali I go standing in snow? Oh my god, I would never do that. I see why you're young. Did you actually see snow? I haven't seen snow yet, still. I still haven't seen snow myself. I haven't seen snow yet, man. It feels bad. I believe when you say no real taste, though. Gotta keep sweeping. Gotta keep sweeping. No, it's not real. Makes sense. Makes sense. Oh, you were covered in snow. You were in one of those areas that got snow in Cali, huh? Lucky you, lucky you. Tripping out all the mercury. Moving out all the items. Created a clean area. We gotta do what we gotta do. Alright, so while we do this, I am gonna send a dupe to... Actually, what I should do is do a lot of sweeping. So they don't do uh, any of the accidental stuff right here. So we do have a lot of sweeping jobs. That's kind of important. You just need to make sure the dupes are working. All right, the ladders are done. We could do the buildings now. All right, so now we're going to send the rocket to grab the graphite. Uh, doesn't matter which rocket we send. This is disconnected. All right, cool. Okay, so we'll send the far left one and the far right one. I think that makes the most sense. So this is going to be grabbing graphite. We'll just send this chemical stairs. We need to ramble to dig. This is grabbing graphite. We should have a bin inside. And we should be able to... Oh, it's hot. 
It's cooled down. It's cooled down. All right, maybe we don't send this one. <laughs> Auto save lag. All right, so this one is going to go to the water planet. Let's look inside. Oh, this was the baller spot. Let's move the fridge. We don't have the bedroom yet. And then we need to have graphite. Move those two in. Won't open the door. It's not going to matter yet. Uh, we do need this to be a higher priority. So let's build this first. And then we could send this guy to the water asteroid. This was Hattor GG. No, who was here? Oh, it was Domino's. Yeah, we sent Domino's. Domino's cool. This guy has everything he needs. Oxygen, food, sleeping place. Uh, don't need the second great hall, but should be fine. We shouldn't need the extra plastic tiles. Alright, so let's open up the door. Back to the ice planet. Hopefully we get the water delivered this time. Got that 9,000. Let's go. Alright, gotta wait for the doors to open and then we'll launch. You guys over there eating yellow snow? You're not supposed to eat that, man. Just saying. Just saying, man. You don't want to put that in your mouth. It's kind of gross. Alright, so we have that for graphite. Have that for the new fridge. Alright, it's fine. So we have food here already. That's all that matters. So we'll just deconstruct this. Uh, let's copy settings up. So we'll move the food into here. And then we're more or less good. So that's good. Let's open up this one. Before the meteor shower hits us. Alright, alright. Did we disable repair here, dude? It's just eyesore, dude. Let's just repair this. Come on. Oh, Domino's was a crew member. Ah, uh, here we go. Didn't have the crew. Didn't have the crew. That makes sense. That makes sense. There we go. We're inside now. We got the food. Everything's good. Nice, nice. Alright. They just gotta take some time to do their thing. Gotta make sure we close the door after we leave the house. Good stuff, good stuff. Alright, so... We have the idea for the sour gas. We need to prep up some space for that. We're gonna move the liquids. Gonna be moving the gases. Gonna be moving the solids over. And, yo, the first one's done. Nice. We get to delete this now. So everything else is going to take longer because we're moving everything in sequence. Oh, it put everything inside the abyssal. I got to mind this. <laughs> this guy, dude, all the items are buried. I think that's what's happening. We got a buried tile for no reason. Alright, we could deconstruct that. Get rid of the power line here. Deconstruct this. Yep, got a bunch of sedimentary rock and other stuff on that now. We could move that again. Nice, nice. Getting this cleaned up. It's pretty fast too. This is pretty fast. <laughs> They're just going through th this. This is taking forever, man. The ultimate trap. They're moving through the doors one door at a time. <laughs> Dude, man, what is this? They're just they're just struggling to do anything because of the lag. 
They're literally just standing there, walking in, walking out. <laughs> hey, yo, man, they don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Really do be like that sometimes. Oh, some of the stuff fell down or something? Oh, yeah, from uh, deconstructing. I guess I have to sweep that myself. Did you see that dupe holding the door open for another? Nope. They didn't. Did they do that? I didn't see it. I thought they were following corporate rules. You're not supposed to hold the door open then. Be like that sometimes. All right, just gotta let them work. Moving out the pool of mercury. We should mine that out and get it started. We should sweep this, this, that. This needs to be built so we could start moving out the bottles of mercury. Need to mine this out. And then there's the items on the ledge that we'll have to get to eventually. Still pumping and still moving out the gas. Dupes are still sweeping, which is good. They actually finished this pretty quick. I can't complain. This is this is some speed right here, building out these doors. Hey, Ross Jamon coming in with a thousand bits. Thank you so much. Holy heck. I'll see you over there, Ross Jamon. Appreciate the support. Thank you so much. I thought I was slick. But we do eventually need, because we deconstruct this, to move more items out. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. And then now this is ready, I could deconstruct this. The problem is, is that the power wires, when I deconstruct it, is going to be on the floor as well. <laughs> so we're going to have to manually sweep everything at the end. For the minimal debris. Might as well get that started. It's going to be hot, but it is what it is. So this one's going to be done soon. And then eventually everything's going to be here. Now, right, all right, dupes, y'all got this, y'all got this. Got to move everything out, though. Got to move everything out. Oh, I got refined phosphorus. They still haven't renamed some of the tooltips. Only when you click on... Wait a second. Oh, wait, refined phosphorus. Oh, phosphorite and refined phosphorus. It's only the solids I got renamed. The liquids are still very similar in name type. <laughs> that kind of sucks. I mean, at least you know it's one becomes the other. All right, so we don't need to go into here. A lot of sweeping to be done. This is open and ready. We have enough steel. Still didn't repair this. Never lucky. Alright, so did the rover do everything properly? Oh, he did! What a stud! Dude, if, if he could do that, man. He's doing a great job. All right, so let's let the rover do that. How are my rockets? We are six seconds to her there and 0.2 cycles. Nice. So, Chiloni, need to release the water. We should be here soon. We should literally be getting a pop-up. Rocket in orbit. There it is. 
All right, so when we launched, we melted one of our pipes. So now that we land, we're going to have to rebuild this. Because <laughs> it's going to boil the water. Ah, come on. And then let's just have you swap suits. After you wear that, you could deliver one. Nope, you'll do that later, that's fine. Alright, so we have the minerals here to do the things. And then let's make this insulated from here to here. And then we'll connect the pipeline. All right, and then we'll be able to store the water. Here we go. All nine tons are still there. All right, so we needed water here for the reactor that we'll eventually have. So that was what we wanted to do. Now we're on the water planet. Nice. We're not there yet. Feels bad. <laughs> Four seconds. You want to try one of these switch cheese maps? They 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 help you more than they hurt you though. So I don't know that that helps makes it easier. <laughs> I wouldn't mind doing it because those maps help you out more than they actually hurt you. You have a lot more places to dump stuff now, and it actually deletes it, reduces the lag. Yeah, it does help me. <laughs> Which is why I'm saying I don't know if I want to do the easy mode stuff. All right, so this is a priority nine, and then we're gonna be grabbing graphite. And then on the planet, this is going to be a priority 8. With the logic being that, oh, you're holding your breath, though. Yeah, that's not good. So the logic is, he grabs graphite from the bottom. You should grab graphite from here and just bring it inside. There we go. That's the process chain. Alright, another thing is, Miss Chemical Stairs need a better suit. There we go. Let's deliver that once we're ready. Bam, bam. And then they can do their job. Cool, cool. Let's let them do that. Let them do the business. Get some more doors. Don't want to block the vision. Need to make sure that the sweepers are done. All right, that one's done. That's impressive, man. How fast that is. <laughs> it sweeps pretty fast. This was a great technique, man. Not gonna lie. Alright, so the liquid here should not allow any gas to stay there. And then we'll probably have to do something here, too, with the gases. That should be fine. And then we just got to seal up the center. Which honestly should be something we do at the end. Once we seal up the left side, we might want to start removing the center. And that climb up the abyssal light on the right. It's going to be the main way to go up and down. Alright, cool. Back to Chiloni. Alright, I could release the water now. Which is why we're here. Water gets released. There we go. There we go. We finally have water here. So this is going to be used for the research reactor once we get to that. All right. So now that that works, we could climb through to the other side and start mining out some of the area. So, you know, simple setup. Just have the uh, dupe do that. Uh, Domino's has skill for digging. He does? He's a stud? Oh, wow. Okay. Domino's, man. Once you have time. Once you're uh, done eating, go help us out. Now we're looking at this. Still a little bit of graphite here. Starving. Oh, we never allowed you to eat the food. There's no food here. 
Oh shit! There's no food here, boys. Oh my god. That is not the business. My food rotted. Can you fire over some to him? I can't. I don't have that set up, actually. Uh, I thought I had berry sludge in here, but I didn't. Okay, so graphite's in. We have oxygen. The food rotted right there. The pickled meal lice. Uh, so we do have two planet toys right here. So we could try to emergency land and get to another planet. Oh my god. Okay. So this is actually going to be... Uh, I have to lift off and then immediately get to here. Uh, I could land here actually. And then do I have food immediately available? We have excellent fruit. Yeah, we're probably going to have to do immediate, you know, uh, a design for that. So crew, that's going to be this chemical stairs. All right, so here to here or here to here at the same distance. So we need to decide which one has food close by. I think it's going to be this one because there's swamp chart right here. We can immediately grab versus if we go to Lunista. We land right here, but there's no food nearby. Okay, so we know where we're going. So back on Damp Ona, we're going to go crew. We're going to go to this place. And we launch. We got to get there ASAP. Luckily for us, man, we colonized the planet and it's just right there. All right, how long is that going to take? That's actually important. Because I think we have like 500 seconds to actually do this. 0.4 cycles. So I will be down to 400k cows. Theoretically. <laughs> so I need to pay attention to this. This is actually the most important part right now. 900k cows. Miss Chemical Stairs, man. She's one of my mods. She's going to kill me. No one tell Miss Chemical Stairs. Everything's under control. Everything. Oh, she fell asleep. Don't want the nice bed either. What? Go sleep in the nice bed, dude. It's fine. It's fine. What? You can't move? No, you can. You just don't want to sleep in here? Okay, I guess it's fine. There we go. 0.3 cycles. If you could drive, it'd be a lot faster, I think. All right, this is hot again because of the freaking obsidian. All right, so mop up the water. Classic. And then we got to hit him with the temp shift plates. Made out of ice. Second one, electric boogaloo. Good, good, good. All right, so we're good here, right? Building this out, still sweeping. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a little bit toasty. It's fine. It's fine. It's not that bad. All right. They're still building this out. How's the Chiloni? Man, my dupe does not want to work, man. This guy really doesn't like to work. The one job we made him do, building one single ladder, you just don't want to do. I could reach to here. How come I can't build the first? There it is. They're working now. All right. So. Come on. Point two. Dude, all the stress modifiers. Yet yeah, still at 0%. <laughs> this is a meme. 700k cows. I should let it simulate 1x speed so the food doesn't over go down. 0.2 cycles. Come on, 99 seconds. We could survive. We could survive. All right. The moment we land, we're grabbing this. 
and we're allowing Miss Chemical Stairs to eat that. This is a hundred K cows. Oh, does that mean that's gonna be a lot of food? We could also just kill the slug for meat. And then teleport. Ah, it should be fine. Should be fine, should be fine. Come on. Any moment now. That's going to be important. I should probably swap suit. That's going to be the smart thing to do. Come on. 30 seconds. Guys, check your fridge before you guys go on space missions. This is a reminder. <laughs> For no reason whatsoever. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Let's go! Land! Are we in? Are we in? I probably should have just... Oh, I don't have a rover. <laughs> I probably should have rovered him. Nah, man. This is probably the strat. I have a thousand calories waiting for me. Nice. I was going to say, are you going to jump down to the Paku Filet? Alright, so consumables, swamp charge you're allowed to eat. Eat it! 2,000 calories, let's go! Where are you going? Just eat the food? Why do you... Why do you... That's one of the weirdest things. Why do dupes have to eat in a specific spot? Because they're wearing an Atmos suit, dude. Why couldn't it just eat in space? It's okay, our calories are fine. Alright, after that we go home. <laughs> We're no longer starving, boys. Let's go. Oh, my God. Nice. Crew change, and we go home. Saved, boys. No one's dead. No one's dead. Everything's going to be all right. Back to this place. You're getting radiation sickness because uh, you are not smarter than the average dupe. Feels bad. And he is slow though. And we're still re removing the water, so let's have him go inside and sleep inside. A little bit of radiation sickness is starting to bother them. Let's go with a suit swap. Alright, easy does it. Back to here. Got some of the vacuum started. Let's go. That means we could start doing the uh, aisles right here. This is going to be hard to actually pump out actually going to be a problem. Oh, is this done? It is sweet. So we have to keep the power line there for the liquid pump. And then I think that means uh, once we get more of the doors in, we can start just pumping out the gas from this pocket out into the area. So it's probably going to be steel pump. Just right here. And then move that to the side. And then let's just use a... Oh, I can't use a regular vent. I was going to use a plastic vent, but I'm scared that's going to melt as the Napta gets in. This is hot enough to melt plastic. <laughs> I don't want to make Napta. I might have to. Let's just chance it. Alright, that should be fine. 
Uh, power wire, it's going to be a simple connection. And we just want to move the gas out. This area is more or less almost going to be a vacuum very soon. That was pretty quick. Can't complain. Can't complain. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Still pulling from here. This dispenser is no longer needed. And then we just got to sweep some of these small items on the ground. That's still going to be moved. That gets moved to here. Good, good. That means everything is on these tiles. Active volcano. Classic. It's looking good, though. It's looking good. Dude, going through these doors, though, it's such a pain. This got swept up completely? That's impressive. That got swept up completely. That's pretty impressive. That's good. The waters are fine. I need to go through here eventually, clean this area up. Everything's looking pretty great. Did this start cooling down? We did. It is the compost that's hot. That's impressive. This generates that much heat. It generates that much heat that... Dude, these words can't keep up. As long as this temperature doesn't go up, we should be fine. And then, are we okay on regolith? It looks like we have a lot... What happened? See, this is why I make sure to have multiple layers. We have obsidian on the side, just in case they break out in a weird setup like that. All right, we got to wrangle this guy. Now, why is there an egg here? Oh, that's outside of egg sweep range. Come on. <laughs> All right, let's do a sweep only allow manual use. All right, we got to do that just to move it temporarily. Let's kill the babies. The uh, voles, we don't need them. Some of them are going to be a little bit cooler. And they're going to lower the temperature, so I just want to take that out. All right, we're going to relocate that guy and then uh, sweep the egg to here so it goes back to here. And then I need to remember to uncheck that. Combats, yeah, attacking shovels. Right, I was gonna say, oh, thimble read seeds. I didn't select thimble read. Not smart. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, wow, dude, what's up with all of these? Oh, this is not max priority. They're not repairing the suits. Oh my god, look at all these worn out suits. What is that jank? At least it could go out the other way. That's just really jank, though. This was not max priority to repair. I can't believe that. I got away with that. Out. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm surprised things actually got built, man. Not gonna lie. Speed this up. Things are still getting swept. Things they still gotta do. Go back to the Chiloni. He's probably okay to go back out. Gotta build out the tiles. Oh, I see what I'll do. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, I think we want to have a solid wall. Probably connecting to the Wolframite. So for the most part, there's a wall here. Technically, I need a tile here. And then connect to this. So when the nuclear waste falls, it could just expose itself to the vacuum. I think that's going to be the play. That makes a lot of sense, too. Build this out. I would have to replace these with tiles, then, most likely. And then that would be a slot for the joint plate. Oh, I have the plastic for this. Nice. So 
so that's probably like this. <laughs> I like how that turns upwards the moment I built it. This should go to the left. And then I need to deepen up. Oh, wait. Oh, I see what I do. Put it here and then have a wall right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I just have to mine this out. Okay. So I could climb up if I mine this. And then we have to trim off the top. Yeah, that's fine. And then the water is done. Nice. Cool, cool. We have food here, right? Yes, we do. Okay, just want to make sure. These dupes, man. All these doors. This does not want to be built. So many items left. After that's done, we could remove this sweeper and be uh, almost done with it. Because of the liquid here, we get a liquid lock. So I can actually seal this up. And then we only have to pump up this pocket. It's pretty nice, pretty nice. Alright, tile at a time, let's go. Alright. These doors need to stop. You need to take the proper entrance, man. And they ignore it. Oh, these dupes. I locked the doors, man. They're gonna go through it anyways. Oh my god, what are you doing? <laughs> I thought I, I... No, it's because he's going under, it's fine. That's so stupid. Dude, why can't you just go... Oh, is it not actually reachable? Is that why? Alright, so this is gone. I could deconstruct this now. Someone do this now, please. I don't care who it is. I see the plastic already increasing in temperature. Nice, there we go. So we do that. Pumping out the liquid still. Uh, still gotta do a couple things. Here, here, here. And then we get the door here. All right. And then we do that. There's a tile that should be here. And then we just got to pump everything out from this pocket. Got to build out the tiles. Okay, that should be good. More or less. We're almost ready. Oh, it's still overpressured. Oh, what a meme. <laughs> this is still overpressured. I need to put some uh, tiles next to this. Make infinite pressure. Feels bad, feels bad. Guys, how would you guys feel if I don't complete this run? I guess we could sweep this later. Betrayed. I mean, there's, there's nothing here that could make us lose, though. It feels like I'm at a point of the game where... Not a lot of people are interested in, sadly. And it's one of those things when uh, you become the smaller streamer, it feels bad.
indifferent could be another word for that, yeah. I'm like, eh, it's whatever, it's a late game. It's because when it gets to the late game, it's super slow. And it's, it's not as entertaining to watch. What's going on, Greater? I'm just uh, trying to create a vacuum. And by building out with doors, my dupes don't get stuck, so I can build everything at the same time. It does take them longer to move around, though. That is the problem. But I have the easier time making a vacuum. So all we have to do now is vacuum this pocket out, and we're good. Uh, let's put a little bit of crude oil here. But yeah, just trying to create a vacuum. It's almost done. All we gotta do is move this out. Yeah, I think the window of opportunity has passed. <laughs> Feels bad. It is what it is, though. I feel like the window of opportunity that I had for this year, maybe, potentially might be gone. I guess we potentially try next year. Either that or... I get some unexpected growth. But it is what it is. Oh, wow. That CO2 gas bubble is helping me make this infinite pressure. Always lucky. Wow, what are the chances? <laughs> and it's because I'm pumping it out. That's so good. No, they're not. I think the category is not even there anymore. Is it? I might be wrong. It might be still there. I haven't seen that category since it came out, though. And this is... This is done. Nice. Alright, so the sweepers are done. We could get that out of here. All we gotta do is do this now. Not bad, not bad. I should probably make a proper like log to get into here. So let's see. Let's use insulated tiles for this. Uh, I want something that doesn't break. So probably obsidian. This goes here, use the slider to get in, and then it's probably going to be uh, 2, 1, 2, 1. And then get the axis there. Have this be the pitcher pump or liquid lock that we're going to have. And then this is going to be another simple design. Uh, it doesn't really matter for this part, it's just going to be vacuum tiles. And we'll just do it like that. Not bad, not bad. But man, I am not motivated. <laughs> I am not motivated right now. I'm sorry, guys. I wish I could keep things lively. I wish I really could. Now, what we have to do last is just build the sour gas boiler. After it's done, we beat the game, and we don't really get to use the sour gas boiler. That's the really thing that kind of sucks about that. Because after we build this, we're done. No, they have it. They have the meteor showers that happen at the top. That still happens if you go to the right planets for that. So you do have to protect yourself from the elements. It's only one type, though. I 
I didn't know there was an end to this game. It was. There is a printing pod, and then once you do the objectives, you technically beat the game. There we go. After we beat this, uh, we could rebuild the ladder, push all the magma out. Should be good. Hopefully it's going to be okay. Priorities should be fine. And then back to here. We could mine this. We want to mine this. We got to create space. Just like the Truman Show, we just sign off to the Abyss pretty much. And that's it, man. Well, the reason why I was a little bit feeling like... Doom and Gloom is because uh, historically, at least if I look at my own trends, January to February is the window of where I potentially get the most viewers. So if I couldn't hit partner at that time, which is just past, I don't think I'm going to get partner this year. Not that it has to happen in the beginning, but historically, I it, it's it normally isn't looking good afterwards. I don't know. I, I think it's winter break. I don't know how that how that reasoning works. Cold weather, stay inside. Either way, for the most part, it feels bad. But yeah, doesn't look like it's gonna be. Uh, looking too great for me this year. Feels bad. We all hope. We all hope. Oh, I melted my ladders right here. Holy crap. Let's just replace that. All good, TX. It's not your fault or anything. This is kind of sad. Alright, we still have the dupe here. They is sleeping. Uh, we should just leave and come back. Have that go back home. Once we're ready, we launch. Alright, not bad. Not bad, not bad. So we'll have everyone home, everyone's safe. I'll have to redo the... Yeah, so copy this. Do that here. Do that here. Do that here. Have that all be berry sludge. Only way to do it. 35 or 25 should be fine. All right. And with that, I'm just going to wrap up. I would love the stream longer. I'm just not feeling motivated for it. As things are already reflected in the numbers. <laughs> so we're just going to save.